Queen Elizabeth is tired of thinking about Megxit. In her 60-plus years on the throne, Queen Elizabeth II has dealt with a lot. From droves of prime ministers, through tumultuous times across the globe, and scandals and deaths within her own family, at 93 years old, there isn't much the Queen hasn't dealt with. Still, though she knew Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex had been struggling in the spotlight, Megxit came as quite a shock to the sovereign monarch. Apparently, Prince Harry was unable to speak with his grandmother prior to announcing Megxit, so the Queen found out like the rest of us. Now, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's final month as senior working members of the British royal family is approaching and their April 1, 2020 transition date can't come quickly enough. Royal fans think Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are being disrespectful toward Queen Elizabeth. Though she was shocked by the news of Megxit, the Queen has done her best to meet Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex halfway. However, she is asking them to remove the name Royal from their brand, forcing them to rebrand altogether. The Sussexes have agreed to comply with the Queen's wishes. However, they are not pleased about it. While there is not any jurisdiction by the monarchy or cabinet office over the use of the word royal overseas, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex do not intend to use Sussex Royal or any iteration of the word royal in any territory, either within the UK or otherwise, when the transition occurs spring 2020, they said in a recent statement regarding Megxit. Now, royal fans believe Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are being disrespectful. The statement's underlying message is they are very, very unhappy with this arrangement, royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams told the Sunday it was completely unnecessary. It may lead to future trouble, they don't like the arrangement that is forcing them to step down as working royals and not use their titles, even though they will have them. They want to use Sussex Royal but by saying the monarchy doesn't have the power to prevent them from using it, why say that? There's no point. My hope is the bitterness they seem to feel with the current arrangement will become more positive as months progress. Queen Elizabeth may think Megxit is temporary. In some ways, it appears that Queen Elizabeth believes Megxit is just a phase for the Sussexes. The terms of Megxit will be re-evaluated by the remaining senior members of the royal family in one year. For now, it looks more like a trial separation. Also, the prince will keep his titles retain his place in line for the throne and the royals even have a plan in case the Sussexes come back. They are making contingency plans in case the Sussexes suddenly turn round and say, can we come back under your wing? An insider told the Sunday Times. You could bring them back to Frogmore to look after them. They wouldn't return to royal duties, but they could have a period of rehabilitation and recuperation. The Queen is done thinking about Megxit. For now, Queen Elizabeth is beyond over Megxit. She generally doesn't want to talk about it, Vanity Fair is reporting. It. The Queen has been keen to get this resolved because she sees it is damaging to the monarchy and on a personal level I think this has been rather hurtful for her. She has got to the point where she doesn't want to think about it anymore, she just wants it over and done with. We just hope that the Queen drawing the line in the sand for Sussex Royal doesn't sour the Sussexes and the British Royal family's relationship completely.